Hey everyone, my name is Antonio Lufer. Uh, for my final project, I implemented a naive Bayesian classifier to filter spam. Uh, basically, the way it works is it uses Bayes' theorem from probability and statistics, uh, there it is, to uh, basically flip around conditional probabilities, letting us calculate the probability that a message containing various features, that is words, phrases, and other features of a message, is either spam or ham, that is not spam. And we can do this based on the probability that spam or ham messages contain those features. So I worked on two programs. The first was a trainer, which takes a training data set of emails that we already know are either spam or ham, extracts the words, and calculates their frequencies. I split this up into MapReduce stages, and using Hadoop on Amazon, we can process a, a training set uh, pretty quickly. And the second program is a classifier, which takes a set of emails and tries to uh, guess whether they're spam or ham. And then I tested this by feeding it two different data sets, one that I know is all spam and one that is all ham. So uh, let's see this in action. I fired up a four node uh, cluster and we can run the trainer on a, on a small training data set that I put together especially for, for all of you guys. So uh, here it goes and it's running. Uh, we can see actually on uh, the job page that it's mapping. It's done mapping, now it's reducing. And uh, once we have this uh, training data, we'll be able to uh, take some emails that we don't know are spam or ham and see, uh, see how they do, how the classifier thinks uh, the messages are. So uh, there we go, we're all done with the, uh, with the trainer. Now let's run uh, the classifier on a set of messages that we actually know are spam, uh, but the classifier doesn't know. So we're gonna see, uh, what it thinks, how many of them it thinks is are spam and how many it thinks are ham. So we can see that that job is done and it thinks 84% uh, of it is spam and 16% is ham. That's, you know, that's pretty good. Uh, but the most important thing is that when you have an all ham data set, you don't want it to, uh, and any of it to be classified as spam because these are, you know, le legitimate emails that you don't want to go to spam. So we're running that job and uh, Let's see how many legitimate emails get sent to uh, to spam. So here's six of them. It's a small data set, so it didn't do too well. But, you know, that's pretty good considering. So 94% of the ham was recognized as ham. And uh, that's it. Thanks.